guys, what's going on? It's your boy George from JP Custom Inc. Uh, with another video. This time, I just, uh, upon request, multiple requests, we do have the glow, or the LED glow in the dark tray. Um, we're going to do one just as a sample to show you guys what that looks like. This actually is going to a uh, particular person uh, that's been asking me for a while, so I figured I'll do one and show you guys what that looks like. Um, if you guys want to purchase these from my website, you can. We do have them blank. If you want to design and give it to a customer, um, we will have that on the website. You'll get a nice box like this, packaging. You will get a bag that goes with the, the LED tray and, of course, the tray itself and also a USB uh, cable to charge up your tray because it does light up. Uh, it does have seven different colors. It'll last up to five hours. Also, it has a grinder right in here, which is hard to see. Uh, those rigids, you see that's very rigid and that's your grinder. Uh, the reason I'm doing this because a lot of people is asking me about these things. Uh, the name of the company is JP Custom Inc. And the custom part is why we do all these different types of stuff. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the company name here in the middle. I've already went, cut that out. I did want to show you guys all that other good stuff. Um, this is why I don't do unboxing and, and that kind of thing. I could have did an unboxing on this. That's a video, but I don't have time for that. Um, this is Oracle 650 Adhesive Vinyl. Uh, basically, we just send that to our Cameo 4 and it cuts it, cut it for us and that's what we're going to apply. So I'm going to attempt to do that now. Uh, I'm going to take this off. Hopefully, it comes out okay. Because everything always comes out good until you go live, right? It's just how it is. It's life. And thankfully, it's okay. So we're just going to simply just add that. I'm thinking about just going sideways. Let's just be cool. I'm making a decision, I'm going with it. So we're gonna rub that in. A lot of people like to use, when they use adhesive vinyl, what they do is they will right away just peel that off. I like to let this sit for about a good 10 minutes and then you'll have no issue. I saw this area right here, this blank area right here. And I said, you know what? We got to utilize that as well. So I made a tiny, tiny one uh, with the company name as well. Obviously, I chose a different font because if I did the same font like I did here, man, it's just not going to work out. So I'm just going to add this. Like I said, this was not something that was expected. I'm just adding a touch. All right. I think that looks pretty good. We're gonna let these two guys sit for, like I said, about a good 10 minutes, and then we'll be back to it. So we can go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys something that I'm throwing in as well. Uh, it's gonna be a custom lighter. This is printed on uh, printable vinyl. It's the same vinyl that we do stickers. It's scratch resistant, water resistant, so it's not paper. This is actually vinyl. And then we're gonna apply that to our lighter. Let's see how good I do. If I mess up, no pressure. I was born for this. I'm like MJ. Wrap it around. Actually, I'm Scotty Pippen, to be honest, my favorite player. Yep, too much pressure. All right, let's be MJ. All right, we're MJ this time. Let's see how that goes. And I don't know if you guys noticed, most of my videos, I, I don't really edit anything about videos, man. Uh, even if I make a mistake, you guys know I leave that in because, I mean, I'm tired of seeing these perfect people showing me how to do something. They're perfect every time. So, boom. There's your lighter, ladies and gentlemen. That's also gonna go with this. Like I said, there's something that I'm throwing in there the customer doesn't know. Uh, so yeah, there's your custom lighter. Like I said, this is vinyl, scratch resistant. This is not gonna come off easy, trust me. And, um, and that's about it. 
So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna let this sit some more. So what we're gonna do is, is this bag right here, this bag, we're going to add this design to it. And this is, uh, this tray goes inside the bag. So this, we're gonna heat, uh, heat press this design. This is printed on my HP Latex 115. This is also printable vinyl, uh, but it's heat transfer printable vinyl, okay? So I'm gonna take this off. Don't make me look bad while we live out here. Let me stand up to find my center. Just eyeball this bad boy. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna heat press that for a few. Let me see how hot my heat press is right now. It's ready to go. This is my first time doing this. I don't know how it's gonna go, but let's just go for it. I'm gonna add my Teflon sheet to it, just in case it, it wants to go nuts and catch on fire. I'm just joking. But I never uh, heat pressed this type of material. So let's see how that goes. All right, we'll do that for about 15 seconds at 330 Fahrenheit. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit because this is, um, it should be paled warm. So we're gonna let that sit for a little bit. We'll heat press it again. So we're gonna let our heat pressure sit there. Let's come back to our tray. So we're gonna pale these stuff on the tray and we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna show you guys something, give me a second. All right, let's see. No, it did not stick. Went, went, went. We're doing a video, so and there's no editing. But typically, I do like to let it just sit. I think it's recommended for to let it something uh, a piece of vinyl sit for about 15 minutes, and then peel. But if you go on the angle, you should be you should be good too. But I do recommend the 15 minutes. I typically do five. But you know how it is sometimes when you're making these things, man. You get excited and you're like, you can't wait. You know? I'm just focused. Bear with me. Boom. So, there it is. You, I think to me that looks pretty cool. Now, let's take the small one out. Let's see how this goes. This might be a little bit trickier, but you know. We have confidence in ourselves, man. That pops though a lot because it's a black. It's it's on a black. I actually do like that a lot. Booyakasha. Like I said, the customer didn't is not expecting that. I think it's just perfect. So now um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in the dark. So that will go together, right? I did print this one, uh, which was bigger. It was going to go on here, but I'm like, eh, it's a little bit too big. It was going to go in the bag. So we use a smaller one. So. All right, let's see if this works. All right, does it hold for two seconds or turn off for two seconds? All right. There it is. So that's your glow in the dark. Uh, I think if you press it once, it'll change color. Even though the tray is yellow, you got your red, pink, green, yellow on yellow. Uh, and then you got all random five colors. Okay, not bad. I do like that green on yellow. All right. So even with the lights on, you can kind of see it, it's cool. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, we can leave that on. And you got your lighter, you got your whole package. 
So now I'm gonna attempt to peel this and see how this goes. Come on, bad boy. Man, we in it to win it, boys. We in it to win it, let's go. There it is. So what you're gonna get is your, you got your packaging, you have your bag, you have your charger, you got a lighter, and and your artwork. This is, I like it. So this, hopefully the customer is happy with this. I just want to share this with you guys. Like I said, if you want to buy blank ones, we do have them in red, yellow, green. Um, it'll be on the website for sale. Or if you want us to customize it for you, we can do that as well. But we will have the blank ones and you can do the same thing. And that's about it. Any questions, uh, let me know. Uh, check us out at www.jpcustominc.com. Also join us on our Facebook group. Uh, ask any questions you, you need in there. And uh, we'll try to help each other out. And uh, we'll go from there. Peace.